The logical path of tackling Darwinism is this. Do not go down the route of challenging universal common ancestry because we cannot do that until we tackle the beast. Darwinism has been used to justify atheism. Atheism's logical deduction is universal common ancestry and Darwinism. It's like a positive feedback loop. What we do is that we take out the legs. If we can smash the mechanism, if we can show fundamentally the reason why the mechanism keeps surviving is because it relies on the philosophy, not the science. And the philosophy precedes the science. The science is a veneer. The wall, the foundation is the philosophy, is naturalism. Then when you've ripped open that scandal, this hidden truth, then the possibility of non-naturalistic explanations are there. So we can say something like this, the origin of life, the origin of Adam, the origin of Isa, Jesus, once God is accepted as an explanation that God is real, God hasn't been undermined through Darwinism, then Allah says, Kun fayikun be and it is and what do you have? You can have an origin of life, you can have another Adam, you can have another Jesus, you can have these. All of these things are possible if there is a God. If there's no God, these things are not possible. So the first thing you have to smash is the Darwinian mechanism. And this is why this is so important. They will always defend Darwinism by conflating it with evolution.